Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of the Roberts Recap. As a reminder, this is where the core executive team and I bring you three salient agenda items from our most recent board meeting. At last night's board meeting, there are three items that I wish to share with you. The first is around cyber education. At last night's meeting, the board approved a one-year contract for us to continue to partner with Keola as our cyber provider. We currently have 73 students enrolled in our cyber education program. During the time of COVID at the height of the pandemic, we had more than 280 students enrolled in cyber education. While we are continuing to make sure that we provide educational model options for all of our students, we want to encourage our parents and students to really take advantage of our in-person, face-to-face learning in each of our buildings. It's the best way for students to learn and we have teachers who are provided with solid pedagogical practices. The second item is the state of the district presentation. The core executive team last night spent about 90 minutes or so providing the board and our entire community with an update about the state of the district for the most recent school year, school year 21-22. This is where every single person on the executive team talked about the items that are within their wheelhouse and that are mission critical. Please go on our website to get a look at our presentation to get more details about it. And the third and final agenda item from last night is one that we are all excited about. This truly benefits students directly. At last night's meeting, the board approved a number of athletic and instructional and educational field trips. Our boys and girls basketball team are gonna venture out to Florida during the winter months to put their athletic powers on display. We are excited about that. And finally, in terms of the educational field trip, our high school students, as well as our teachers and leaders, will venture out to Washington, D.C. to embark upon some museum visits and some educational tours, something that we have put on hold for a long time during COVID. We're excited to have them back in this place of educational normalcy. Three items in three minutes.